garden again, and we've got flowers planted next to our vegetables. Today we're talking about companion planting, and we're joined again by Ricky Camry. He's a gardener with the Purdue Extension office here, and talk about why we've got marigolds next to tomatoes, Ricky. Well, you know, I really encourage home gardeners to plant flowers along with their vegetables, and there are lots of reasons for that. You know, not only are there benefits, but they also bring in pollinators, which are really good for the garden, pollinators and beneficial insects. So most people know that marigolds in a garden are good. They help deter a lot of pests. They also help deter critters. Sometimes the critters don't like to smell. Marigolds oh, okay. have a very unusual odor. odor. Yeah. Also in the garden, you'll see there are some coleus, which is really easy to grow. This particular plant is called a calendula, which is a uh, plant that was grown in Egypt long ago. Oh, okay. We have some begonias, which are really easy to grow. And this little tiny thing is called coxcomb or celosia. Okay. It's a really good indicator plant in the garden. If the plant, if the leaves are very yellow, then it means that you might need to get apply some fertilizer. Oh, okay. So all these flowers, in addition to the vegetables, just make for a really balanced garden. Now, speaking about vegetables yeah and pairing them with the vegetables let's talk about you've got one here one that I don't think I've ever seen before and this is one of the least known vegetables in a garden right it is you know a lot of people well gardeners that are sort of in the know will always grow kohlrabi kohlrabi is from Europe you know kohlrabi is easy to grow it's extremely nutritious it's high in fiber oh. it has all the things that you would want to have for a healthy diet okay so you can just eat this you can kind of crunchy. It has a little bit of a potato taste to it. Yeah. But it's very good. Yeah. Okay. Well, something that you should definitely consider in your garden and also consider planting some flowers with your garden, some good companion planting to make sure you've got a good crop and keep away those pests this season. Thanks so much for joining us again today on the Green Thumb Rookie. Really appreciate it. For more gardening tips, just head over to Wayne.com. We'll be right back.